Hey guys, Pixie here, and Minecraft 1.2.5 has just been released as a pre-release. The launcher won't update yet. Uh, the same version will be added to the launcher on Wednesday, April the 4th at 3 p.m. Central Eastern Time. I think that's what CEST stands for, which is 6 a.m. in California, 9 a.m. in Florida, 10 p.m. in Korea, and 11 p.m. in Sydney. So that's Wednesday, April the 4th. That's when 1.2.5 will officially be released. So here's the changelog. Added shift clicking support in furnaces. Added a method to easily acquire blocks you've selected in the world in creative mode using the pick block key. Made the direct connect dialog remember the last IP for the current session. Fixed issues detected certain links in chat. Fixed wild ocelots behaving like tamed cats. Fixed various chat crashes. Made cats less eager to sit on things. <laughs> Made cats less patient, okay. Fixed world generation failing under certain circumstances. Fixed issues turning off sound under certain circumstances. Removed all ghost entities under the command of Lord Herobrine. Interesting. Fixed a crash when pasting certain characters in chat. Fixed the slash key not behaving correctly in certain environments. Fixed a command matching being too greedy. For example, typing slash stop hammer time no longer stops your server. Fixed not being able to click colored links. Fixed potential issue with village door detection, which could cause too many villagers. Made using a stack of bowls on mushrooms not consume the whole stack of bowls. And made punching a TNT block with flint and steel in your hand destroy it and drop a TNT block. Right clicking will activate the TNT. So that's the changelog for 1.2.5 and this will be out on Wednesday, April the 4th at 1500 CEST. Thanks for watching. Bye!